Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I'm going to be sharing with you five ways to handle your money in Japan. Coming up. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japan, this time in Japan. D. <laughs> so yeah guys, in today's episode I'm going to be sharing with you five ways to handle your money out here in Japan. And with that said, let's get into it. And so tip number one, don't exchange your currency at the airport or any other exchange shop. Reason being is that they will take a portion for fees and you won't get the best exchange rates anyway. But if you absolutely have to exchange your money, do it at your final destination so you don't get dinged with extra exchange fees. For example, I was going to exchange a little bit of USD, a little bit of American money, out when I was in London before I landed here in Tokyo. And what they were going to do was convert it from USD to pounds and then to yen. So I would have got dinged twice for exchange fees. So if you are going to have to exchange your money, do it at your final destination. Number two, do withdraw cash from a 7-Eleven ATM. Now, not all ATMs out here in Japan are created equal, and many won't be able to read your cards, but the ATMs at 7-Elevens have worked for me every time. And tip number three, do go through a credit union if possible. So the main reason is that credit unions offer ATM fee reimbursements and the best exchange rates. Now, some other banks might offer those, but for my money, credit unions are the way to go. And plus, you can get a small loan if your credit score isn't hot garbo like mine. <laughs> so number four, do carry cash on you at all times. Unless you're going shopping, you don't really need a whole lot. But definitely having some cash on hand will make things easier in case the shops you go to don't accept cards or their card reader is down. Now as far as amounts go, I'd say carrying around 10,000 to 3,000 yen or about 100, 300 USD in cash should be more than enough. Now keep in mind, you're not going to be spending that much day to day, but it is good to have that little extra buffer just in case. Number five, do get a Pasmo Suica card. In addition to paying for your train fare near the train stations, a lot of vending machines, shops, and even some taxis accept payments via Pasmo slash Suica card. Just look for a little gray NFC box to see if it accepts Pasmo or Suica. So yeah, those are my five ways to handle money out here in Japan. And if you have any other tips or tricks, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the boobity boops because I'm always looking for new tips myself. And with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you. There we go. <laughs> Next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.